Merry Christmas, Salem Church. My name is Jamie Hamrick, and I grew up at Salem. I was born there in 1971, and I stayed at that church all the way until 1998 when God called me to be a minister. I now sitting here at Rocky Mount Church uh, in Morrisville, North Carolina, where I've been able to uh, and blessed to serve now for 18 years. And I am honored today to be part of your Advent season and the lighting of the candle of joy. The scripture that I'm going to read this morning is it's about an event for everyone, how God calls the complicated, but God loves the simple just as much. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. There were sheep herders camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angels stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified, and the angel said, Don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everyone worldwide. A Savior has just been born in David's town. A Savior who is Messiah and Master. This is what you look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. And at once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the sheep herders talked it over. And they said, let's go to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child. All who heard the sheep herders were impressed. Now Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear, deep within herself. The sheep herders returned and let loose glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they had been told. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to our God. Have you ever thought about why God chose shepherds? Well, God loves the simple folk. I think that's why God loves North Carolina and God loves Washburn Community and Bostick, and God loves Salem. If there's any advice I could give to you as we go forth through this Christmas season, will you start looking for those simple things that give you joy? That's what this candle is all about tonight. It's about joy. It's not the big things that give us the joy in life. It's those little things that add up, that give us all of our blessings. So I'm going to challenge you. Look around, maybe grab a hand, maybe give a hug, give a phone call, and just tell someone what they mean to you and what Christmas has done for you. Not the gifts, not the packed places, but what has Christmas done for you? Jesus was born in the middle of chaos, and a lot of times I feel like I'm living my life in the middle of chaos, but today... Let's just slow down and say thank you, Jesus, for the little things that add up. Merry Christmas, Salem.